Well, the fight over abortion access is driving voters to the polls, and the Democratic National Committee is paying attention. It's launching a new billboard campaign today in New York City and around and across, rather, battleground states. The DNC official said the campaign will compare and contrast Democratic efforts to protect abortion rights with Republican efforts to ban the procedure. CBS News political and economics reporter Sarah Ewald Weiss is joining us now to talk a little bit more about this. Sarah, so tell us more about the campaign and where else could we be seeing it? So Democrats have really seized on this issue because we're about to mark one year since the Dobbs decision. That's the Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe versus Wade and the constitutional right to an abortion returning the issue to the states. And Democrats have seen that their voter base has been galvanized by this issue, both in a number of battleground states during the midterms and in special elections across the country. So it is no surprise that they are doing a lot of messaging on this issue to mark that one year anniversary. We talked about those billboards going up in battleground states and Times Square, but there's also going to be a digital campaign that Democrats are doing. They're also going to be mobile their voter base with calls and texts. Uh, the, this is really a coordinated effort from the top down to the state level. We've seen that there are going to be a number of events with Biden administration officials and surrogates. Uh, the biggest one, I think, is going to be this Saturday, the actual one-year mark, where Vice President Kamala Harris, who has been a key figure in the administration on this issue, she'll be traveling to North Carolina to give a major speech on abortion rights. That state is one that recently passed a 12-week ban on abortion. We'll see others across the states. In the Senate, Democrats, of course, uh, are proposing a number of pieces of legislation uh, and vocal, being very vocal this week on the issue. So we're seeing this all across the board leading up to this one-year mark, as they know this is something that their base is definitely focused on. So as you know, CBS News uh, did some polling on this topic and found that more than half of women believe being pregnant in the U.S. is becoming more dangerous. I imagine that a lot of this messaging is targeting that base, women. What are, what's, what are Democrats trying to let them know? Well, yes, women are definitely being galvanized by this issue, and Democrats and abortion right activists have really noticed that. What we know from our own polling is 57 percent say that the overturning of Dobbs was mostly bad for the country. And right now we are in a maternal mortality crisis here in the United States. So that has been a part of the messaging. Advocates and Democrats are connecting the dots on this issue and looking specifically at the data. I think it's worth noting that the Kaiser Family Foundation also released some polling or survey this week of OBGYNs ahead of the Dobbs decision. And it found that 68 percent of doctors said that the decision worsened their ability to manage pregnancy-related emergencies. Another 64% believe it has worsened pregnancy-related deaths. And 55% believe it'll hurt the ability to attract new OBGYNs to the field. So I will have to say that that is something that is coming up in the data for doctors as well. I think there's something to note here. Democrats still are vulnerable on this issue because while they have been talking about it and rallying behind it, they simply have not had the numbers at a federal level to pass legislation protecting the right to an abortion. Mm. And that is something they have not had even before the midterms. Uh, and they do not have those numbers now. So as we know, you know, the results of the overturning of Roe v. Wade meant that this is an issue that goes down to the state level. Can you explain how abortion rights played out in Virginia's primaries this week? Yes, Virginia is one of the states with an off-year election this fall, and mm. it's a deeply purple state. So this really gets a lot of attention. It also happens to be the only state in the South that has not further restricted abortion in the past year because it has a split assembly. Democrats there still control the state Senate. And so what we saw with abortion, it could be something that plays out throughout this year uh, as it did in this primary. What we saw was a Democratic incumbent state senator was ousted 
supported by a challenger who really focused her campaign on protecting abortion rights. That senator she challenged was an anti-abortion Democrat. And I spoke with her on the phone. She's a former delegate. LaCherise aired yesterday. She told me that voters are really seizing on this issue on the campaign trail, even in rural areas. She also said that she discussed this issue of abortion with Virginians, not just about protecting the right in the state, but they saw it as a last point of access across an entire region. So she ended up winning that primary there. That said, we'll expect this to be a lot of messaging on the issue heading into the fall because Virginia is a battleground, because Virginia still has uh, largely access to abortion where the rest of the South does not. Mm, really interesting stuff. Sarah Ewald Weiss, thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you.